Hello guys, it's Cody. In this video, I'm going to talk about shortcuts automation. So there is, uh, you can run shortcuts daily. Uh, you see the time of day, uh, automation. You can, there is daily, weekly, monthly. So I'm going to take next. But there is, no, but some people want to run a shortcut every two days, three days, four days. Uh, five days so how do we do with that uh, in this automation you can uh, in iOS 16 this is my iPad OS 16 uh, you, you can add actions or run shortcuts but in iOS 17 there is no add action you can only run shortcuts so let me just create a shortcut to decide if it's uh, to run a shortcut every three days, for example. So I'm go to shortcuts and add a new shortcut. Now we add a date action, date. So let's set a specified date. Let me set it to October. Uh, first 2023 now I'm gonna add an action get time between days here we're gonna select the date select this date and here we're gonna select the current date We're gonna decide how many days, if it so days. And here we're gonna, so we're gonna we do want the time. So we said the data format, time format. We're gonna say like now. Here is the same time format. Select now. Now, let me choose. So it's uh, three. So. Today is October the 4th. So we're gonna add a calculation action. Calculate. Even time between days, we're gonna divide it by number three. So we're gonna run this every three days. Now we're gonna, so, so we get an integer one. So we're gonna add a match text here. We're gonna write a regular expression formula to match if this is an integer. So we're gonna write a full regular expression formula here. So we're gonna run it. So you get a match. So this is an integer. So this three, uh, three days, number three, the number three can be divided by three. So we're gonna add an if action. If this match has any value, so we're gonna run shortcut, run shortcut, you can run any shortcut. So run your shortcut, add action to run shortcut. You can select any act any shortcut you have otherwise nothing it do nothing so when uh today when today when it's tomorrow november the 5th oh uh, so there is uh, that's we get uh not an integer so so let me change this date so if we want to run this every three days that's it you want to run it today that's it and then the next day you won't run you won't run this shortcut because this is not an integer so so let me just change this date to september september
30. Okay, let me just uh, add a, can I give it a name? Every three days. Let me add a, a test shortcut and let me name it test. Test. Only add a notification. Trigger. So we're going to run this test shortcut. So this is September 13. So this is our, it's four days can, cannot be divided by three. So this shortcut won't run. Let me just test it. So nothing happens. So we're going to change it to October the 1st. Allow, trigger, trigger. So the test shortcut is trigger. But if we want only shortcut every four days, So it won't run because it won't run every four days. Tomorrow it will run this shortcut, your test short, my, my test shortcut. So let me, you, then, then you can add an automation, create a new automation, select daily, time of day, select your time, and next. Then you can run this shortcut. run every three days. Uh, you can change it to four days, five days, two, two days. Tap next. Ask before running. Don't ask. Okay. That's how you can run shortcut every two days, three days, four days, five days. Well, if you had any questions about this uh, automation, you can leave a comment down below or you can cha uh, chat with me on Telegram. I'll share the Telegram link in the description. Just uh, click it. Uh, so if you want to s send me a screenshot or anything, you just go to the Telegram. Okay, if you only have a simple question, you can uh, leave a comment down below. Okay. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you find it helpful. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.